All right, what's going on, you guys? So tonight we're gonna be talking about mobile page optimization. Mobile page, mobile pages for affiliates and affiliate offers. Uh, this is gonna be a completely free training by me, Jeremiah Goodman. Uh, this is completely for online business owners, affiliate marketers. Uh, hey, if you run traffic, if you run paid ads, I'm gonna want to go ahead and get this straight. If you run paid ads, this is something you need to listen at. If you don't run paid advertisements, then this isn't for you. Okay, but if you run paid advertisements and you spend money on TikTok or uh, Facebook ads, which I spend a lot of money on Facebook ads, uh, or, or any other paid ad platform, this is something that you need to be aware of: is optimizing your page for the best results. Okay, who am I? Again, I'm gonna just go ahead and say this for you guys that's new to the video, to, new to my training. I'm a digital marketer over over the past eight years. I've coached over 100 students. I'm a traveler, explorer. And I love to explore. I'm an advertising consulting, which I consult with students all the time. And also I'm a bookworm travel. Here's a couple of pictures of me all in the desert, you know, at a lake in New York, Arizona, a call center that we was building. And also you can't see the last picture here, but you know, me somewhere else. <laughs> all right. More importance of mobile optimized pages is this allows your pages to be visible and user friendly on all devices, no matter the device your audience may have. You want your pages to be profitable and optimized on for iPhone users and Android users. Every one, uh, I said one of page loads called 7% decrease in conversions. What I mean is every one second that your pages load decrease the conversion rate by 7%. So if you take your page to pages like 10 seconds to load, then you're gonna instantly have a decline in convergence. This is something majorly important for you guys that's coming out into the internet space and don't know about this and you're just running traffic to affiliate offers or you're running traffic to different things and you may have a landing page in place, you may not have a landing page in place, but if you're not using a landing page, this is probably one reason, um, well, if you are using a landing page and you're not getting a lot of success, this is probably one reason that's probably decreasing your sales. Uh, optimization for your page, meaning the page needs to be optimized for mobile. So like how this Lucky Land slots right here, this is mobile optimized. But the downside of it, not because of the images, the page load of this was super, super slow. So this page actually took 10 seconds to load up. I actually recorded this and it took 10 seconds to load up. When it comes down to pages like that, if it takes you 10 seconds, remember 10 times one, 7%, that's 70% decrease in your chance to convert. Because why? When a person is actually looking at your landing page, what happens is they see they're clicking on the ad or they're clicking on whatever it is right then and there. And if that option didn't don't load up right then and there, then you got probably like three seconds before the person say, hey, you know what? It's not loading, so swipe back out and go on to the next thing. Because obviously at the end of the day, you already took time and got them dis undistracted from an ad. And if they're not enjoying after clicking that ad, then it's like they already went out their way to click and see what it is. Or you can build anticipation, anticipation in that customer and keep them waiting, but that's just gonna only make things worse. All right, how to test your page, speed, your page uh, speeds and stats. So one major thing, if you're new to this, you need to be testing your page speed. So if you're familiar with the, we run ads in my agency and everything that we do, uh, obviously you probably been to our website. Um, it took, after running a speed test, it took 24 seconds, almost 25 seconds to load. So that's a, um, just about a quarter, well, over a quarter, a minute. So it took a while. Uh, these things have a huge, huge impact on conversion rate, especially like when it takes that and total blocking time, uh, 2.3 uh, thousand milliseconds. That's a lot. And then what you could do in these case scenarios is you can kind of track this just to check the speed, the speed load. So on this landing page right here, this one specifically, conversions have not been the highest on this specific landing page. And now I can kind of see why. Like, well, I got this going on. Well, I got this going on. So, well. This is the reason this page is converting. This is the reason. So you can kind of dial down into the time and the frame of what's working and what's not working with your page. Now you can edit those things, especially if it's on mobile. Now, if you're doing desktop optimization, a lot of times computers work better than phones because it's to a grounded line of, of internet. 
thin or a grounded space so the stability of that page loading is a little bit more faster compared to a mobile phone it could be out in the country getting data one day and it could be you know in the city with no data the next day so that has a huge huge impact on the load of your page like literally so you can see this should be at 100 but it's at 18. but if you don't check this stuff you will never know exactly hey does my page convert or is people seeing my page because that's a lot of the a lot of the problem a lot of the time it's like it's people looking at your pages they able to see what you have to offer if they're not able to see it then it's going to be pretty difficult for you to get any conversions let's say this page loaded only 18 percent of people that click on the ad and seen it well if only 18 percent that means my conversion rate can only be less than 20 percent at mid at the best and less than you know based on statistics if i said 100 clicks it's going to never be no higher than 18 percent lower and based on statistics it'll probably be at like 10 at best 10 percent conversion rate why would i settle for a 10 percent click-through rate or conversion rate on my landing page when i can actually optimize my page and get 50 60 70 80 percent conversion rate when i optimize the page so that's why this is super super important for you to optimize your pages the effects of having a slow page versus a fast loading page loading time is decrease your conversion by seven seven percent which i already preached to you guys it forced users to leave your page so if someone click on your ad and you got a nice ad and you say hey i'm not getting sales and your page sucks well nobody's watching it because nobody can see it it forced people to leave your page and then you get a lot of and let's say that page low which happens in this case scenario to this page so that's why i screenshot it is it load up perfectly but the downside of it is not actively responsive to users so the buttons wasn't clickable on here uh the links didn't out for you know didn't go on so that was kind of like the downside of this landing page because of the simple fact that it didn't load up like it wasn't responsive and i'm on an iphone so i'm like expecting it to work super good but it was not responsive all right it kills the traffic at the end of the day that's what happens it kills the traffic all right it kills your traffic another thing is user receipt another thing when it's a fast page like when the page is very useful for individuals uh users receive details instantly so if you have a php page which i'm going to talk about later on in in this video here if you have a fast loading page then people can go ahead and see what it is so if this page load in like two three seconds then boom i can go ahead and see what it is so i can consciously make a decision hey yes i want to play now no i don't want to play compared to waiting 24 seconds and saying hey it finally load up do i want to play now do i not want to play and then it, then the page just frees up a lot of the times it's not the user devices it's the landing pages that we have that cause the problems all right and then users can see all, all the details and also users can receive all details and they can take action on all details when you're using a fast page speed. All right. This is one thing that a lot that flies over everyone's head and I know it flies over people's head because it's a simple fact. A lot of people aren't aware of it, but HTML5 uh, five pages versus PHP pages. When it comes to looking and design, design HTML5 is to go to uh, page designers uh, use. Uh, while the pages look while the page look great the low speed of these pages will be crappy just because the, the website is pretty and all that good stuff doesn't mean you're going to make sales so you got to get out that frame of mind of trying to make things look pretty and focus on what works and what brings in the conversions all right php pages typically load instantly since it only takes a small amount of data for of the majority of users to download and receive the content on the page what I mean by that is a PHP script typically could be like 10 kilobytes. So it doesn't take a user to download three megabytes, which, you know, I don't want to get too technical on things for a page to load. You don't want your page load to be super, super slow. And a lot of things that cause us to load super slow is, well, the page is a lot of data and it's trying to download onto the phone or the device that you're on so you want to use php scripts you want to this is why again you want to have self-hosting landing pages to increase conversion rates for your ads all right what's better than landing pages quick tilt for you guys like that's just fresh out on this what's better than landing pages for conversions is 
basically other platforms. So sometimes simply as using social media platforms is the right solution due to the fact that it builds trust in, in their in app base, which holds high low speeds. So basically if a person is coming from TikTok and you send them to YouTube and you have a redirect pixel, you can still track all your users. And then at the same time, they redirect to YouTube and just open up the app and send them straight to the content or you can send them to Facebook. So that's one, th that's one trick I actually use with my advertisements is I'll take people from one platform and just send them to another platform just to increase conversions, just to increase uh, traffic. Why? Because it's like, okay, that user already have trust there, so it's like I'm not going and beating my head against the wall trying to build more trust with the consumer, all right? And plus, at the same time, they can go ahead and learn whatever they're trying to learn and take action right in there, all right? You must still use as a simple redirect page in this process to capture your traffic data. PHP the redirect scripts are typically best for this. What I mean by that, even if you're direct linking, this is what fucks affiliates up. This is what messes people up. You still need to have a redirect page with your tracking link, even if you're direct linking the offer, because you still won't be able to track and see what's going on with your traffic. All right. So what I wanted to do after that is I want to show you is setting up a landing page. So this is a landing page builder on WordPress that I'm using for a quick funnel. And it's pretty simple. The what I try to do on my pages to keep them super simple is these things right here, right? So when you're building a page, you don't need a whole lot of stuff. This is probably all you need on any landing page. It is probably two text boxes, an image or video. Uh, you could put either or right there. Uh, and right here, a clear call to action. So it. Other than that, these are the basis that you, that I will recommend anyone use on their landing pages is say, hey, uh, sign up. Well, or you could say, you know, unlimited um, high speed. Uh, or we could do something like this. I got a campaign right now for cable internet, right? Unlimited high speed home internet right and then we can put the subtitle um, get the fastest speeds in your area so that'll be a subtitle headline go ahead and center that out subtitle go ahead and center that out make this a headline change this right here paragraph to headline one boom and we could put an image there and then we could say button here um get set up now or you can do a call to action like schedule okay. installation date Nope, that's what I write. Date. All right. And creating a page like this. Now, the main thing that we want to do is check to see if it's I'm gonna optimize. How we do this is when you're building these landing pages, a lot of consumers is just on their desktop building pages. But you want to go ahead and click on mobile. And you can see, okay, this isn't what we want. We want the image to be this big. All right. And so what I call this is above and below the fold. So I kind of talk about this heavily into other trainings and things of that nature, but above and below the fold. If this is someone's phone right here, like if they're looking at the phone screen, they should be able to see the headline, subheader, image, and a call to action. And all this should be above the fold because of the simple fact that if it's above the fold, then the users don't have to do other things like scrolling down, or anything of that nature to see anything else on the page. If a user have to scroll down to just instead of just getting to the point, then it's going to be a whole lot more difficult for that user to just convert. Now it will build trust for some products or services, but a lot of case scenarios, less is more. Remember that less is more when it comes to getting people to convert. All right. You want them to do the least amount of action and you want to do the most amount of work and you want to simplify and educate them in the fastest way possible for them to go ahead and convert. All right. 
I hope you guys are enjoying this right here. And when I want to go back is to this page right here. So you see how this page right here, everything is above the fold. What I mean, image, subheader, call to action. And you know, questions, you got your little support email. But everything is right here, header, subheader, call to action. That's it. A lot of times, that's all you really need on your landing page just to get people to click through, just to get people onto the next side. And that plays a valuable role on, on getting conversions. Like now we're tracking the people that's clicking through. Now we can go ahead and retarget those people and follow them around the internet and basically get more conversions, more warmer traffic there. All right. Um, another thing I want to talk to you guys about is page load speed. So going back to this page right here, this is basically we want to ask page. So let's go to another another site. So let's say we put in what's a, what's another site, right? Um, let's say ClickFunnels, right? I think a lot of newbies use ClickFunnels. Um, I don't know what's going on ClickFunnels pages. Uh, one with original URL. I see here. Yeah. So we're going to diagnose ClickFunnels to see how ClickFunnels is working, right? I know a lot of new affiliates use this uh, software platform to promote stuff. So we're going to see here how well ClickFunnels is working. So it says diagnosing page. Hopefully, hopefully ClickFunnels isn't too bad, you know? So <laughs> if you're a new affiliate, always check your page speed, always optimize your pages. This is what how, this is literally what makes or breaks people campaigns. And then another thing, a lot of affiliates don't realize like the majority of your traffic on the internet is from a mobile phone. So it's not, you're gonna get desktop traffic, but the majority of people is gonna be on a mobile device. So that's kind of like one major role for affiliates to be aware of is like, we're not just sending traffic and stuff of that nature, bro. We're we're literally testing mobile traffic all the time, no matter if it's Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, uh, no matter what it is. Uh, what's the other one? Facebook? Yeah, no matter what it is, you're always testing and mobile optimizing your pages. But yeah, ClickFunnels don't even pop up, so we're not even gonna worry about it. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, training. I will see you in the next one. And if you haven't already, click the link below. Go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and show you on this one, you know, because uh, I talked about this last night. Go ahead and get access to the training, to the course uh, in a private group. So there's a link below. Uh, if you don't, if you didn't get inside yet, go ahead and get inside. Uh, this is where I actually share with you guys how to set up TikTok ad campaigns, which you definitely gonna know need to know how to do mobile optimization if you send up TikTok ad, because that's all TikTok is on. Um, Basically, I'll show with you A to Z how to set up TikTok ads uh, from beginning to start with an affiliate offer. Uh, lesson two, how to get instantly free traffic using Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace have been super, super good for me. I made thousands of dollars off of Facebook Marketplace, not really spending anything. And so it always provides me a base income. So that's why I love it. Anytime that I'm in a rut, I always just buy Facebook accounts and just use Marketplace. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's the best platform in the world to kind of like just get a boatload of free traffic and keep buying accounts. Uh, lesson three, uh, collect massive amounts of leads and build, leads and build audiences. Audience is, is assets. So once you build an audience, you got to always remember you can always continue to cross promote and continue promoting to that audience. If you have a huge audience and you can continue to build that audience and you continue to promote to that audience, you can always have income coming in, no matter if you have money for traffic or if you don't have money for traffic. Lesson four is how to apply the law, law of seven, seven principle, the seventh principle using retargeting ads. What I mean by that is it takes seven times before a person buy. And then also you have to interrupt people visual in their space seven times before they can fully see what's going on and build like and trust into you. So some of those crazy songs that you can't get out your head or things of that nature, a lot of times you see, you heard that song more than seven times. And that's kind of like what radio promotions do to kind of like get inside people's head to promote a song on them. All right. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's an artist that you know that you don't want to know, but you know all the lyrics to the song, but you don't give a fuck about the song. Yeah, it's still all seven. All right. Lesson five of the affiliate marketing set, setting up CPA offers on TikTok ads. So TikTok is jumping right now. The traffic is super cheap. It's like cheaper than it was with Facebook back in the day. Like I'm talking about, you can get traffic, like straight website traffic for like 10 cents if you optimize your campaign right. Like on my worst ads, like, um, well, I can't say my ads is worse, but I can say I got good ads. I spend probably like 16 to 19 cents a click on TikTok. Straight video, straight to sale offers. Like, it works. Trust me. All right. On top of that, let's get access to the course in the private group today. So the bonus training inside is you get a high converting landing pages that I use. That's kind of like basically everything we just talked about just now is you want to have high converting landing pages that work mobile optimized for your affiliate offers. If you're not using, like I covered earlier, PHP scripts and you're just using HTML uh, scripts, HTML5 uh, scripts, then that can drastically kill your conversions. But if you're looking to make money with CPA offers or affiliate offers, use what I'm talking about on a self-hosting platform using a CDN. I will show you guys all this stuff. You know? <laughs> all right, and another bonus that you need is Setting up, well, what you're going to get is a step-by-step -step CPA affiliate campaign with TikTok ads. So I'm not going to just leave you hanging. I'm going to hook you up with a good CPA offer that converts on TikTok. Trust me, bro. I got you. All right. On top of that, you're going to save 30% on enrollment if you use coupon code WRA7OFF. So that's going to save you 30% on enrollment uh, for this program. All right. And on top of that, you're going to be able to access me. My group members and work with an active group of uh, people that run ads on a daily so i run ads full time uh, that's kind of like been my basis so for me personally this is the bread and butter bro just run ads run ads stop stop with your negative mindset like i had one guy that came to me this morning and it's like negative mindset stop with negative mindsets bro like if you afraid to spend a couple of dollars on ads and not not know how to optimize your campaign that's gonna hold you back but if you can understand exactly like what works and what doesn't work, then it's easier for you to go ahead and scale up the campaigns. And once you have a base stable of like, okay, this campaign works, then it's pretty easy to make money from there. You just got to get out the frame of mind. It's like, oh, this doesn't work. Like literally just stop thinking with your peanut head and start looking at what genuinely works right now. And that's kind of like what I do to optimize my campaigns to see what really works and then I'll scale up and build off of the traffic that I see coming in that's converting. If it's good traffic, I scale up heavily on it. If it's bad traffic, I try to find other ways to monetize and still capitalize off of it. All right. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Go ahead and get inside and use the coupon code WRA7 off and get inside the course right now. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation. I will see you in the future.